Hi, welcome to How to Repair. This video is on a White Knight Tumble Dryer Compact which is tripping the electricity supply. It's manufactured by Crossley and this video can also be used on some Belling Compact Tumble Dryers. Now the problem with this Tumble Dryer is it's tripping the electricity supply when on the heat setting. This is a good sign that the element has gone. You will need your full model number to identify the correct element for your machine but every time we turn the tumble dryer on to heat it trips the electricity in the house. Now there is a little reset button which is useful to know at the top which resets the thermostat on the tumble dryer if the machine ever overheats. So we just remove the back cover and you can see the button here that presses on the top of the thermostat to reset it. There are two screws holding the thermostat in place if you are actually going to remove the wiring off the thermostat it's a good idea to take a photograph but I normally just remove the two screws and push the thermostat to one side and you now need to remove the wiring off the element itself as I said good idea to take a photograph remove the wires and now we can undo the four to five screws which hold the plate onto the back of the tumble dryer. This will allow us to remove the whole housing which holds the element in place. Now while I'm doing this there are some links on this video that will take you through to the website for the correct element for this machine. Now here's the element. The element is actually held in place with three screws which need to be removed and then the element can slide out. Now it's very hard with these radiant type elements to actually do a proper insulation test unless you have a mega. But you will be able to do a continuity test. Setting the meter to continuity you can see that the element has continuity across both sides which should mean it's good. But I'm just going to turn the meter to ohms and you can see that we're getting a slight reading going through to earth or the chassis of the element. This is a reasonable indication that the element might be above the 30 milliamp standards which your RCD is set at in your house and this would be the reason why the fuse board is tripping. Again with the new element doing continuity you can see it's good but when I set the meter to ohms you can see that this new element has no reading going to earth or to ground on the element. I'm just showing you this for the differences between the old and the new but to do a proper reading you will need an insulation tester or mega. So just insert the new element Replace the three screws that hold it in place. Now at the website while I'm doing this we have many other video tutorials on compact tumble dryers. Uh, how to change the belt, the motor, the fan assembly and so on. So just follow the links above. It's also a very good idea while you've got the machine apart to actually put the vacuum cleaner around and clear off any fluff out of the pipe you can see on the bottom left hand side with it, which is the exhaust uh, which blows out the hot air. Follow this through to the dryer and make sure you really do get as much of the fluff out of the machine as possible. Replace the wiring now as in your photograph replace the back cover and now we'll do a test on the machine and I will show you the heater working on both sides using my test meter. Now when we plugged it in before it was tripping the electricity immediately and with the new elements the tumble dryer runs and you will have a high and low reading on the element. We have genuine and uh, pattern parts at the website for this element. The pattern will save you a few pound. And as you can see, changing the heat setting. And there we go. 
Thank you very much indeed for watching this video. I do hope you found it helpful. Please remember to support the website by buying the parts from us. Also remember to subscribe to our channel as that's what keeps us going and able to make these free videos for you. And if you found it very helpful, you could always donate to the channel by buying us a beer. Thanks very much indeed for watching.